Welcome back. Well, more gorgeous weather on the horizon for Acadiana. A cool front down the road into next week. But first off, let's take a look back at Milton. It was upgraded to a tropical storm Saturday. And by Sunday, it was a Category 1 hurricane. And then inside of just 10 hours, it went from a Category 1 hurricane to a Category 5 with 180 mile per hour winds. Watch as that eye becomes a pinhole 3 to 4 miles in diameter. Then it went through an Iowa replacement cycle. So we lost the eye a little bit and then there reappears a very intense storm category four here. And then eventually interacting with upper level shear and that is what uh, kind of broke up the storm as it moved inland but still making landfalls officially a category three category two conditions across much of Florida. And of course, as you just saw on the national news, widespread destruction from the tornadoes on the east coast to the surge down to the south and just pure wind damage across the central part of Florida. Over three and a half million people without power. That's customers, not people. There's more people without power. Customers can be two, three, four at the household. So here's the big picture. Dry air still in place across our region. Drier air into the Gulf of Mexico. And it looks like it's going to stay that way. And again, you can see the remnant system of uh, Milton out to sea now. It's a post-tropical cyclone. It's still a cyclone, but more like a nor'easter now being guided by upper level winds. Still 70 mile per hour surface winds and then we have tropical storm Leslie was a hurricane got downgraded to a tropical storm and then there's a system coming off the African coast no uh, issues ex at least over the next 10 days but the Northwest Caribbean the Gulf could have some more action it toward the end of the month maybe the first week of November we'll have to wait and see on that but no worries for right now and no worries for Louisiana for sure in the near term another warm one tomorrow High pressure off to the north and east of us will be working its way in. So just sunny skies. Maybe we'll see a cloud or two, but not many as we head into the weekend and more of the same as we go into next week. And those temperatures, daytime highs creeping upward. But tonight, another cool, pleasant one. Mid 50s for northern portions of Acadiana will favor mid to upper 50s across the I-10 corridor and upper 50s uh, down along the coast. And of course, there's a big aurora alert for much of the U.S., but will we see it here locally? really hard to tell. Probably not. But you want to look off to the north and get into a dark place. Look on the horizon after about 11 o'clock at night. That's when the ionosphere can get excited with the incoming energy from the coronal mass ejection that was Earth directed. A G4 class a storm expected, but that doesn't mean we're going to see it. But maybe your feed will see it on your Facebook or Twitter feed. You'll get to see some pretty cool pictures later on tonight. Now 89, the projected high tomorrow. Another nice one out there a warm afternoon few clouds off to the north of us but no concerns weather wise it's just warm in the afternoon downright hot as we head into the weekend but at night it's still pleasant and then here comes that front as we get into monday and that brings our temperatures down into the lower 50s for a few days which means we could see some upper 40s and outlying areas come wednesday and or thursday morning then a little bit of a warm up into the following weekend maybe a few showers down the road we'll see that's it for weather for now we'll have more coming up in just a bit